Hello, internet. So today we're going to take a look at the legendary Takahiro coffee drip pot. This particular size is the 1.5 liter, which is quite large comparatively that most other coffee drip pots are about 800 or less. Okay, so uh, this one's from Japan. You can see on the outside there's a lot of Japanese words. Um, I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what it actually says. All right, uh, but there's some English. It's a pot, so you don't really need to have directions with that. Uh, on the inside, there's some more Japanese words. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. If somebody knows, let me know. Okay, so on the inside over here, you see you have the lid. Uh, and basically the pot itself. So, very simple, two pieces. Nothing complicated about that. Alright, so the pot is very heavy, uh, the edges are rounded, as you see in the video. Uh, it handles nice and smooth. On the top, there's a little rivet over there, or a little bump. And I guess that's to keep the tension in the pot. Okay, so let's just test the metal. Uh, as you see over here, the, the main base is non-magnetic. That's usually a good sign of a high quality stainless steel that is resistant to uh, corrosion. Um, the lid itself is a different type of stainless steel, probably 400 series, uh, because it's magnetic. Uh, but these days, it's hard to tell. All right, so the base is not magnetic. Oh, but what's interesting is the spout actually is magnetic. It's probably for strength. Usually the magnetic versions are for strength, and the non-magnetic are for uh, corrosion resistance. So. You can see over here that doesn't stick, it sticks over there, right? So that's two pieces or different stainless steel. Uh, the pouring of this is very nice. Uh, you can see you can control from a very, very small dribble all the way to a very, very fast pour, right? And it's pretty much effortless. You don't have to really struggle with that. Uh, this is quite nice. I like it. Uh, it's much better than most of the other ones. Like the Hario one is very large and the water will come out. So it requires a lot of practice. So at a hundred bucks, this is kind of steep, uh, but the build quality is very good. The metals and material is very good. Um, if you have it on an electric stove and that's how you want to do it, then this is a great buy. But otherwise, I'm going to probably stick to my Hario, which is plugged in and it just pretty much costs 80 bucks. Thanks again. If you like uh, what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to leave some comments, leave them below. Thanks.